in the previous video, we looked at CompTIA Security Plus SYO601 exam. Now, we will look at what's new in SYO701 exam for those who are new to this channel. Welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I am Career and Certification Captain. Now, let's compare the difference of 601 versus the upcoming 701. Okay, now if I scroll down, we still have the same details, such as maximum number of questions is 90 uh, in 90 minutes. Um, well, they added recommended experience here, two years of experience in IT. It doesn't really matter. What is important is the changes of the domains. So what happened here is we still have five domains, yes, but there's a new domain one. Okay, let's compare what was the domain one under 601 version attack stress vulnerabilities now the attack stress vulnerabilities uh, they actually add mitigation it's now domain two the domain one here is general security concepts which has a very low percentage just 12 percent now the main three is security architecture which was the domain two of the previous or the 601 version okay architecture and design you know works hand in hand sometimes it is interchangeable as well so it's now the main three the main four security operations my guess is they just combine the main three implementation and operations okay um for the last domain domain five governance risk and compliance I assume this is almost the same, okay? Security program management and oversight, but it's it has now increased the percentage, okay? It's now 20%. Before, it was only 14%. My expectation is it doesn't have much changes at all. Maybe they're adding more focus on maybe specific technology or the evolving technologies, but I doubt it that they add major um exam topics all right so let's check first the main one general security concepts so categories control types um these are fundamental security concepts such as cia triple a zero trust uh physical security uh, some of these topics my guess is it has already introduced in some of it are in the main one too or maybe some are in three. Uh, encryption is here. Uh, tools. This is it. This is the main. Oh, so we have the main one. Super basic terminologies and concepts. Uh, super short coverage as well. I don't really understand why they dedicated a domain for this. Now, the second domain is threat vulnerabilities and mitigation. I don't. To be honest, I don't really see much of a difference of the domain one of the 601 version. Where you will see the same um, names here or terminologies such as threat actors, um, social engineering, different types of attacks. Um, what else? Many different types of vulnerabilities, application, web, hardware virtualization, mobile, etc. I guess the one difference here is how they categorize those vulnerabilities and attacks. I'm not quite sure how how much changes it was or it is. But for example, here, malware attacks. Okay, under malware attacks, they define all, uh, all of these malware attacks under this category. Okay, and then we have also physical attacks, brute force. Is brute force considered physical attacks for some extent, but it can also be not physical at all. Now for network attacks, yeah, wireless, malicious code, application attacks. So um, I, I think there's not much of a difference of this domain compared to the previous version. 
Now, security architecture, I also doubt that there are much difference between the main th two architecture and design and this uh, the main three security architecture. Where we talk about cloud, we talk about considerations, we talk about infrastructure considerations. So these are many different types of technologies running in your data center, such as switches, firewalls, not just data center. It can be any type of network infrastructure. So we have WAF next, next generation firewall. Um, we also have secure communications, VPN, TLS, SD-WAN. Probably this is a new one. Okay, is there an SD-WAN? At least the terminology. So there you go. <laughs> there is no SD-1 um, name or title you will see here in the uh, 601 version. Okay, so this is a new one as well as SASE, Secured Access Service Edge. Probably we won't see any SASE uh, mentioned or a word SASE mentioned in this blueprint. Okay, so this one is new, SD1 and SASE. What else? Concept and strategies to protect data. So these are very common concepts and strategies. Importance of resiliency and recovery in security architecture, backup testing, um, site considerations. So these are all very common. So, so far under the main three is SASE and SD1. That is what I see quite new. How about the main four security operations? So let's see. So security techniques to computing resources. We have Wi-Fi security settings. Uh, WPA3 probably new. Okay, so there was already a WPA3. So yeah, my bad. Uh, mobile solutions, hardening targets, these are all covered in the previous version, so nothing new here. How about security implications for of proper hardware software? Probably most of these are also mentioned from the previous version. Okay, vulnerability management. Okay, so this is also very common where we talk about many different um, technologies. Um, defensive security, uh, such as firewall, IDS, web filter, etc. And what else? Um, okay, identity and access management. So now I'm not quite sure, but it seems that we have this item dedicated for IAM. Okay, and we talk about SSOs, we talk about access control, we talk about multi-factor authentication, we talk about password concepts. Most probably these are, these are all already introduced from the previous version. But my guess is there, there is now a more focus on identity and access management. Okay, I'm not 100% sure how big is the focus. Oh, this is a new one. This is a focus for automation and orchestration. Okay. For example, use cases of automation and scripting, where they talk about automating security groups, continuous integration and testing. This is probably new. Uh, APIs, I don't recall um, the previous version talking about heavily on APIs. We also have benefits, other consideration of automation and orchestration. Okay. Uh, these are more of responsive or incident responsive activities. So I think that's it. It's more of a heavy focus on IAM. And this is a new item focusing on automation and orchestration. Now for the main five, security program management and oversight, I would expect this is almost the same as the previous version. Okay, so where you create policies, um, they added risk management process here now before it was on the previous domain, domain four. But now the risk analysis, risk assessment, um, yeah, it's now heavily discussed in domain five. SDLC probably new, software development lifecycle. I am not, I'm not quite sure if this is mentioned or discussed heavily in the previous version. Okay, we also have third party risk assessment and management. And that's it for the main five.
To be honest, I don't really mind taking either versions. But since I will be taking the exam around December or January of 2024, I will be probably taking SYO701. Yeah, the new version. How about you? Comment below if you have any questions and don't forget to hit the like button.